Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to show you how you export to a PDF, but also keep or put on there your printer marks. So uh, sometimes when you have like, say with this ad with the open space and the edges, um, you send it in an email or even as a PDF with a white background, you can't tell where the ad starts or stops at. Or sometimes when you send uh, a PDF to a printer, they may ask you to put in your trim marks or your printer marks, in which case Adobe InDesign has a feature where you can do that. So you just go to export a PDF like you normally would under File, Export. And um, it's going to, of course, ask you a location where you want to save the PDF at. So we're going to save it here. And when this dialog box comes up, this is going to give you the details of what you're going to put in. So we're going to show the PDF um, so you can see what I'm talking about as far as your printer marks and stuff. Um, but most of this stuff is fine. Um, you visible in printer layers. Most of your defaults when you're setting this up is fine. Compression. Um, you would only change this if it were going on the web. So if it were something that was going to be professionally printed, um, or digitally printed, then you would leave it to its defaults at 300 dots per inch. But if it's something to go into the web, then you would adjust most of these to about 100, uh, 72 to 100. Um, right here under marks, you can select whichever ones the printer asks you to put on there. Typically, we click all the printer marks, but sometimes some printers um, ask you specifically and uh, which ones that they need to see. They will also give you, um, if there's a bleed in your document, um, you can control the amount of bleed. In this particular one, we don't have one. But if we did, we would adjust it so that we could see the bleed. Um, and that's usually, again, if it's being professionally printed. And, um, and then everything else you don't really necessarily need to use uh, to get your printer marks on something. So once you have this pretty much checked, your compression set correctly, and um, exporting all your layers. Um, again, I've just checked this so we can see it when we're done. So we're going to export it out. And there's our printer marks. Our color bars, our trim marks. And it kind of gives us a better idea of the edges of where our document is going to be at. And it tells the printer where they can need to trim this at. Um, but that's how you export your printer marks using InDesign. 